Claire, you're back at Wanderers HQ. If you can, um, just sum up what this last six weeks has been like for you personally. Yeah, the last six weeks has been absolutely amazing. It was probably one of the best footballing experiences I've had by far. Um, I felt extremely lucky to share that experience uh, with our team on the park, but also with the rest of Australia. So it's been amazing to see the progression of women's football here just as a result of the World Cup. And I'm looking forward to see how it develops over the, the coming seasons in the A-Leagues. For the, the kid from country New South Wales, um, does it, is it quite hard to process just, you know, what young Claire would think seeing Claire now being on the big stage at a World Cup, World Cup semi-final, inspiring a nation? Does that kind of sink in at all? It hasn't yet, but I think I reflect on my experience and I'm just quite proud to be in the position that I am and have worked hard to, to get to where I am and represent this team and this nation on the world stage. So I feel like all the hard work has kind of paid off in a sense, but I never thought it would do so in this kind of realm. So I'm, I'm really proud and, and so excited to see how our impact will allow for the progression of football here in Australia. When you look at um, the injuries that you've had and, and the battle that you've been and, and sort of everything you've had to do away from football just to maybe keep other avenues open for you. Um, to be in a position you are now, that must be so satisfying and gratifying, I suppose, to, to know that you've, you've achieved all that despite the setbacks you've had to overcome. Yeah, I think with the setbacks, it's, it's a natural part of the game, and I think I always accepted that. I just found it really hard to accept that I hadn't been given my chance, I suppose. So now that I had my chance, I think... It showed in how I took my opportunity with the national team only debuting this year. So I think when the opportunity did present itself, I was ready. Um, and I couldn't have dreamt for a better six months and a start to my international career. So I'm extremely proud of that and just excited to see where it takes me now. Just finally, um, how nice is it to see the stadiums packed, young boys, girls, families experiencing football for the first time. The Liberty Pass is, is in action again this year. They've already sold or... or more activated, more Liberty passes for, for kids to go free to football than they did the entire of last season. That must be, as someone as a professional in this game, that must be so nice to see that the next generation now have role models and, and are, are really engaged about going to watch football this year. Yeah, it's amazing the reception that we received from the Australian crowd and to see young boys and girls interested in female football is amazing and I don't think we've necessarily had it to this extent in this country before. So, it, yeah, it's a step forward for Australian football and it's amazing to see, you know, those children with role models um, and also a path pathway for them to pursue their football careers as well. So it's amazing to see what it's done for grassroots football um, and everyone should be quite excited for the upcoming A-League season.